Strap on your football helmet and step into the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket because we're going to play Commander Keen. So Commander Keen is one of my favorite games from the early 1990s. It was actually released in 1990 by id Software. And you might recognize id Software as the people who made games like Wolfenstein 3D, uh, Doom, and Quake. And Commander Keen is nothing <laughs> like those other games. Commander Keen is a very adorable 2D action platformer. You play as a little kid. And you get to go to Mars and have some adventures. I know that may sound a little cheesy, but it is actually a really fun and engrossing game. So let's give it a try. Now, uh, sometimes people ask me, how do you install games on FreeDOS if it's not a package for FreeDOS? Well, back in the 1980s and 1990s, programs didn't have packages like you would install in a package manager. It came with its own zip file that you then had to install. And that's what I'm going to do here. I haven't actually installed Commander Keen yet because I wanted to show you how to do it. All I've done is downloaded the Commander Keen zip file and unzipped it into my temp directory. So if I do a directory here so you can see what files are in here, you can see I've got uh, just three files. I've got a .shr file, which is basically uh, kind of like a zip file. It contains all the files that uh, Commander Key needs to run. We're going to install those uh, on our system in a little bit with the install program. We also have a file id.dis file. That's basically a descriptor file that you might uh, post on a BBS if you're going to share Commander Keen with other people because this is a shareware game and actually they encourage you to share this game with others. I'll talk about shareware in a little bit, but yeah, if you wanted to post this on a BBS or somewhere else, uh, you would also post the file id.dis and that tells people what that uh, program is about. And if I just do a type on it, because it's not very big, it's 342 bytes. So if I just do a type on file id.dis, you can see that it tells you about, uh, this is a shareware game. It runs in EGA, it's four way scrolling. It's just a really fun game. Now let's go ahead and run the installer. So I'm just going to type install. And this is uh, first telling me about, uh, this is the installer for Commander Keen. And uh, I can just go ahead and hit enter to continue. And this screen is just telling me we're about to install Commander Keen. So go ahead and hit uh, enter to continue. And this is going to ask me where I want to install it. The default is the Keen directory on the C drive. So let's go ahead and enter there as well. You can see now it just unzips or extracts everything and puts it in the Keen directory. And now it's telling you, okay, to, to play the game, you're going to type Keen 1 from the game directory. And by default, that's going to be Keen, which is where we happen to install it. Now, actually, if I hit enter, it's going to drop me in that directory. So if I just hit enter here, uh, now it's a, it's a big, long directory listing. So I'm going to do a wide listing with slash W. And you can see that I've got a number of .ck1 files, Commander Keen 1 data files, which are basically level files. You can see a lot of levels in there. Uh, but there are two files I want to mention. Uh, and one of them is order form and the other is vendor.doc. They're actually both plain text files. They're not like a Word document file or some sort of weird special file. They're all just plain text files. So I mentioned this is shareware. So if we look at uh, the vendor.doc file, so I'll do a more on vendor.doc, uh, you can see this is telling you about Commander Keen, Marooned on Mars, episode one of the Invasion of the Vorticons trilogy. And it's telling you that in the key points that, yeah, everyone can. In fact, they encourage you to distribute copies of Commander Keen. They want you to share with as, uh, as widely as you possibly can. Uh, and the way that this worked is that you would share Commander Keen, hence the name Share and Shareware. And if you liked it, then you would uh, register the program and they would send you back a floppy disk. So you'd send them like a check and they would send you back a floppy disk with the unlocked full version of Commander Keen. I was going to do control C on that. And let's uh, go and look at my directory again, and we'll do a more on the order form. So if I liked Commander Keen, I would print out the order form, just send it to my printer. And you can see here just a plain text file. And these are all the different games that are shareware distributed by Apogee and 3D Realms. You can see there's lots of different uh, games in there. Uh, if I hit space, uh, you can see uh, down here, there's a combo offer on uh, on Commander Keen. Uh, Commander Keen, Vorticons, Invasion of the Galaxy combo, and that's on CD, uh, which was new technology at the time, and that's going to be $49.
Uh, and there's a bunch of other things down here. You can buy uh, guidebooks, mouse pad, uh, t-shirts, things like that. And so there's the uh, information you'd fill out uh, along with your uh, credit card number, which will be down here. And that will allow you to uh, register uh, Commander Keen, or you could send in a check. And so, as I say, they would then uh, mail you back a floppy disk. And up there at the top, you can see what uh, type of floppy disk you'd prefer to get back from them. And uh, and that's how you'd register Commander Keen. Now, the registered version, you're not allowed to distribute, but the shareware version absolutely can. I'm going to do Control C here and get out of that. And we can play the game now with just by typing Keen 1. That's going to start up with a, a little bit of a sort of a welcome screen, which I'm going to just skip here by hitting space. And this is the menu to start Commander Keen. So you can see already by the art style, it's going to be kind of a very adorable uh, kind of game. Uh, before I do a new game, let's let's go into story and we'll read a little bit about Commander Keen. So Commander Keen is actually Billy Blades. He's an eight-year-old genius. And basically he's made a, a spaceship out of household parts, you know, just things you'd find around the house. Uh, old soup cans, rubber cement, plastic tubing, uh, vacuum cleaner, things like that. Uh, and when he puts on his brother's football helmet, he transforms into, and so we'll go down a little bit with the arrow key, Commander Keen, Defender of the Earth. And in his ship, the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket, he dispenses galactic justice with an iron hand. He even has a, a little, uh, little ray gun. And so there's information here about the game itself. So in episode one, he's marooned on Mars. Basically, he's landed on Mars. And while he was wandering around, uh, the Vorticons uh, uh, stole parts of his ship, and now he can't get off again. So uh, he needs to uh, collect all the pieces of his ship so he can make it back home. If I scroll down a little bit further, you can see what pieces I need to get. And you can see I need to pick up a joystick, a uh, car battery, vacuum cleaner, and Everclear. And they're in various spots on Mars, and we'll wander around and uh, and find that. Here's more information about uh, Mars, right? So unbeknownst to NASA, when the Viking lander settled on the surface of Mars, it uh, basically landed on uh, their king. Uh, so you got the Yorps, which are very friendly little aliens, one-eyed Martians. We'll see them very, very quickly. Uh, and then you also have the Gargs, the vicious, aggressive Martians. And there's other types of aliens in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape. I'll leave that to you if you want to play the game uh, that you should probably read the entire story. But let's go ahead and hit enter on new game. That's going to drop me immediately into uh, the game. Now, I should probably mention at this point that uh, Commander Keen doesn't actually use a sound card. So what noises you're hearing here are actually coming out of the PC speaker. So if you're trying to play this on your computer using probably a PC emulator and you're not hearing any sounds, you might want to check your PC emulator to make sure that your PC emulator is correctly emulating a PC speaker. Uh, I'm using QUMU and I'm using the option that will actually uh, simulate a PC speaker. And that's what gives me the sound. So this is not using like a sound blaster or something else. This is actually just driving sound directly to the PC speaker. Now there's a couple of keys that I can use in this game. Uh, basically it's the arrow keys and then control and alt. And that's really what you do. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into the map here. And um, uh, it's going to wander down. There's my, there's my ship. Uh, if I do control on that, I don't think anything happens. Oh, it actually does. So it tells me uh, my ship is missing these parts. I have to press and hold control, apparently. So uh, missing these parts, the basically all the pieces, the joystick, the battery, the vacuum cleaner, and the Everclear. So go get them. Uh, I'm wander over here to this city. And I can't get around this city. So I, if I wander around, I can't actually get past it. This is the first level, basically. I hit control on that. And there we are. There's Commander Keen. And that helmet, by the way, if you live in the Midwest, you may recognize that as the uh, uh, Green Bay Packers helmet. Uh, but in this case, it's, we'll call it a non-infringing, non-copyright infringing, non infringing uh, Green Bay Packers helmet. And there's our friendly little uh, little alien. You can see he's got a big smile on his face. He's happy to see us. Doesn't actually do any damage to us. We can just run right into him. That's fine. Uh, all he's going to do is just move me around the screen. Now, if I jump on top of him, so let me get over here and get a little bit of room. If I jump on top of them, I'll stun him. Oh, come on. There we go. So now I've stunned him. He'll wake up in a second. It's okay. Now, uh, a thing about jumping is if I hold down the control key, Commander Keen will jump to a full height. 
but the longer you hold down the control key, so that was me holding it down as far as it'll go, uh, he'll jump to the full height. If you only just tap it a little bit, it'll make like a little tiny hop. And anything in between. So you can you can get different types of heights just by uh, pressing the control key uh, for different amounts of time. Uh, and just like most platformers, you can move around while you're in the air. That's fine too, right? Physics don't matter. So uh, these are little uh, uh, popsicles or little lollipops that we can sort of jump into and collect and they give us some points. And actually if I uh, tap the F1 key, you can see a little bit of help in here. And so this tells you about the keys that I can use to use the game. So arrows, control, alt, and then if I press both control and alt together, I can fire my ray gun if I've got charges. Uh, and I can redefine those keys if I want by doing F3. And then down here, it tells me a little bit about uh, the, uh, the other keys you can use on the keyboard. And down here, the treasures that you can pick up. So these are different symbols that you'll see uh, in our level. The lollipop, the soda cans, which is totally not a Pepsi can. Uh, pizza, because if you see pizza lying on the ground, you should totally eat it. Uh, the Book of Kant, uh, because that's heavy reading for an eight-year-old. And then the teddy bear. And so if we pick up uh, enough of those things to uh, get 20,000 points, we get an extra life because, uh, yeah, this is uh, what games were like in the 1980s is that you, 1990s as well, that you had to, uh, you only had a certain number of lives. We don't like have infinite lives on this one. If we, if we lose all of our lives, I mean, that's it, game over. So I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. Let's get all these lollipops. And let's see if we can pick up that book of Kant up there. So if I just jump over here, missed that one. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Up, oh, up, oh, missed. Let's try that again. Get out of my way. All right, I'm going to give it one more try. Let's see if we can get that book of Kant. Otherwise, I guess I can't get the Kant. All right, I can't get the Kant. Uh, let's go ahead and just move along. There's another lollipop. Let's pick that up. Ooh, and over there is a ray gun. And uh, if I do Control-Alt, I don't think I have any shots right now. Yep, so it's making a little noise indicating that I don't actually have a shot. Uh, and by the way, I see a little sign next to it written in sort of strange characters. That's actually the galactic alphabet. And we'll learn about that later on. There's even a level, uh, I don't think in the shareware episode, I think it's in the full version that actually shows you what the galactic alphabet is. It's basically a, uh, just a, a translation from, uh, the standard English alphabet. There we go. Now I have some shots. Whatever Zill means. I think that means basically danger. Let's get past these little uh, flower-like things. See, he's, he's happy. He's fine. He's just been stunned. He'll get back up again. I'll wait for him to get up. There he goes. He's fine. I could shoot him, but, you know, he's not doing any... any he's not going to do me harm, so I'll just I'll leave him be. Let's see what's back here. I got Kant. Right. My way. All right. All right. Now there's an exit over here, which I don't want to trigger just yet because I haven't picked everything up. Let's go to the left. And there's pizza pizza. Definitely get that. Come back over here and get it from the other direction. I can get those other ones. Get in the way. There we go. Uh oh, and I missed it. Well, I'm gonna leave it. And let's go ahead to the exit. All I have to do is get near it, and you can see it just lets me exit. 
All right, so I've finished that, that uh, part of the level. And if I just wander around, you can see I can explore different areas. So here's a little hut. Let's go into the hut. All I'm doing is moving over to the city and then hitting control. Little platforms here. I don't think there's anything off the right. Yeah, there's nothing to the right. And here's like a little oracle. I just need to jump into it. And you hear in your mind, it's too bad you cannot read the standard galactic alphabet, human. And as I said, later on in another episode, you can uh, get the standard galactic alphabet so you can read all those signs. Uh, but basically, that sign up in the upper right, that's basically saying exit. I think that actually, you could translate that as E-X-I-T. Now I've exited that, and now it's marked it as done. And what else do we have over here? A little city, and a little city off to the left. And another little hut. Let's do the hut. Ah, and here's our pogo stick. And so we got a, a little sign over there above the door that uh, tells me it's a pogo stick. And so here I'm going to go and get a pogo stick. And there we go. Uh, let's try this green, or this uh, gray city over here. All right, new level. And I'm going to let those guys jump happily to their doom, I guess. All right, kind of like lemmings. A piece of pizza. Now, some of these blocks, you'll notice I can actually run into them. I don't know if that makes sense, but I can actually, if they're these stripy blocks that I'm on, you can see if I move off to the left, I can sort of pass through that block. If I come at it from the side. Uh, if I come at it, from, obviously, from the top, it's just going to be a platform. And I can jump up through them in the bottom. And uh, let's jump over there. Okay. Ooh, pizza. Ooh, and a teddy bear up there. Can I get the teddy bear? So if I do, uh, now that I've got the, the pogo stick from the other level, let's go ahead and do alt. And that'll activate the pogo stick. And if I do it at the right time, I can do control to jump. And I missed it. But that's how you use the pogo stick. Once you reach some higher heights. Uh, what's over here on the right? There's a happy little guy. Right there. Ah, so here we have a locked door. This is a yellow door. I need a yellow pass key to get through there. And there's a guy who wants to hurt me. So uh, let's go ahead and get past this guy. And now I need to find a yellow card key. Well, let's go ahead and explore what's up, up top. Oop, hands a pop. Go from the Midwest, that is pop. Let's get through there. Way. Ah, more lollipops. More lollipops. Oh, hello. And there's a yellow car key. So now I can get into that locked door. Let's, as long as we're here, let's go ahead and get these lollipops. Well, let's get the cans of Pepsi while I'm here. There we go. What's over here? There's that controlled jump not coming in handy there. Okay, what's down? Am I gonna die? And I do die if I go into the flower, so uh, let's just move on to a different city here. Let's go on to this blue city. I actually could just go around it. But let's go into the blue city. All right, so now we can jump up here. Let's use our pogo stick. Ooh, let's see if I can get those. I kind of did. Get them all. 
I suppose if I was willing to put in the time, I could probably get it, get all of them. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, another locked door! All right, so let's try and find a key for the locked door. Oops, over here, level. Let's see what else is here. Okay. I don't know. How do I wait? Oh, oh, the yellow card key. into the door itself, and now it opens. Over that guy. And over here. Oh, it looks like another part of the level. Oh, good. Ooh. Another gun charge. Let's go and get that. Oops. Here, we can use the pogo stick. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Let's, let's think that one through again. So to fire, remember, I need to do control and alt at the same time. Yeah, oop, there we go. So I've got uh how many I've got three keens left. And I got five charges on my ray gun. Here we go. Alright, let's go and get some charges again. Here we go. There we go. What else is over right here? Ooh, a card key. Let's go get that. It's probably going to come in handy. A red card key. Get over the dangerous flowers. Alright. I'm ready for a red door. Get the pizza. Oh, okay. I thought he was a bad guy for a second. gun charges. Ah, and you can see up there the uh, the red door, and we get sort of a wolf-like guy. He actually has a name. Um, but I don't remember what it is. Let's go just jump over here. And jump up here. Boy, that looks dangerous up there, doesn't it? I don't think I want to mess with that fire. All right, uh, I want to open the door, and I think I'm going to try and shoot this guy. Where'd he go? But there's my joystick. There we go. I have no idea where that little wolf guy went, but he's gone now. All right. So I've got uh, I've got one piece. Another little hut. Let's play a little hut. Oh gosh, that probably means that other city that I didn't uh, finish probably has another piece of my, sp of my spaceship. Ooh, whoa, whoa. What's going the fire? Another oracle. Teleporter in the ice will send you the dark side of Mars. And we exit we go. Sort of a green sort of cactus city. We'll go in there. You can see a little, little mountain range off to my right. You can see some ice up above. We're getting close to the uh, teleporter that I just mentioned. All right, what's up here? Pogo stick it is. Bogo stick. Oh, what's up here? Oh, missed it. Let's try it again. Try it again. All right, here we go. And I missed it. Let's try this. All right. Let's see if I can get up top. Use my pogo stick to jump through that block. I feel like dangerous people are going to be over here. Oh, and he is. Go. Ooh, and another one. Go. Okay. Happy little yorp. Another happy yorp. 
with the teddy bear. What do we get to the teddy bear? Ooh, we get past this dangerous guy. There we go. Any others? Oh, oh and there's an exit. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Got him. And yeah, we can get the teddy bear. Uh, let's go and just go to the exit. There we are. And then up here is our teleport! To the dark side of Mars. Oh, there's a little hut over there. Let's go to the hut. Ooh, another hut. There's lots of little huts down here. Let's try the gray one first. Now, I recall that when you're on ice, you actually have to be careful because you can, you can slip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's me sliding. All right, so let's be careful of that. That changes our gameplay a little bit, right? Okay, that's actually not me wa uh, walking. That's actually me sliding a little bit, so that's great. Oh! And I thought I could jump up there, and I didn't. All right, we're going to pass that one. What's in here? Ooh. Dark blue. Here's my key card that I want to get. Lots of jumping in this game. Platformer. There we are. I've got my key card. Now I can get through the door. Up here. Up over here. Alright. I feel like I'm going to be very bad with this fire, but let's give it a try. Made it. All right. Do I want those books? No. All right. Oops. Ooh, there's our oracle. There's a hidden city. Look in the dark area of the city to the south. Ooh, okay. The city to the south. Um, could it be that one or the hut? I think it's probably the city, so I'm going to say this one. Unless it's further down. What else do we have down here? Wow, all over the place. There's a hut. And there's sort of a city. Well, let's go with the, the one that was next to the one we were just at. So let's just, um... Come on. Go back up there. And then we can explore the city. All right, so if I find a dark area, I'm going to want to explore that. Look at the, the guns. All right. Down here. Oh no! Oh! All right, let's try it one more time. Let's first try to shoot this guy. Go to the right. What do we have over here? Ooh, this will be great. Ooh, there's a dark area below us. How do I get there? Let's, let's go either to the left. Let's 
feels like it might be where we need to go. Oh, but I can't get down there from here. All right, off to the right. Commander Keen. Trying to hit that dark area. Let's go see if we can find it. Left or right, we'll go left. Ooh, that was close. Oh, there's a little key card, let's get that. And remember, by the way, all these sounds coming off the PC speakers, so this was pretty amazing tech for the time. Okay, let's see if I can shoot the, uh, needle here. Oh, all right. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Uh, let's do one more city here. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to this little hut on the right. Okay, this looks, uh, filled with joy. to jump over him and I couldn't make it. All right, let's try this other one. Oh, this looks interesting. I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to go. Can I shoot those guys? Apparently not. I'm gonna shoot this guy though. There we go. What's that guy? Happy Yorps. That guy's just hanging out in the fire. Look at him. Go you. Alright, where can I go from here? I guess I'm jumping over the fire. There's the oracle. Look for dark hidden bricks. You can see nothing but their upper left corner. All right, let's uh, let's just go all the way to the bottom here, and we'll try this last level. We'll call it done. Alright, let's see what this is about. Okay, that's a noise. That's not me making the noise. What is that? Oh, that's a robot. I don't think we've seen him yet. Ooh. 
Oh, that's right. On ice, it gets kind of challenging, so we be careful about how we walk around on the ice. Very challenging. I can make that jump. I can. There we go. Try this again. Now, can I shoot that little robot? I cannot. Great. Try it again. Let's try and jump over him and get that blue card key. Okay, I'm going backwards. <laughs> let's, let's, let's maybe give up on that little space. Could be dangerous. I don't know if that's dangerous or not. I don't think I want to touch him. Ooh. And there are those hidden bricks. At least I think that's a hidden brick. Remember nothing but their upper left corner? Yep, there we are. That's a hidden brick. Just far enough apart that I can jump on them like that. Oh, great. Let's go and try and jump onto that one. Hey, and there's a blue door. I have that card key, I think. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, apparently they're okay. They're like you are. Ooh, hello. All right. I try and shoot him as I hop up there. Oh, and he got me. All right. Uh, I'm just going to call that one. I think I've only got uh, one life left anyway, but that is uh, Commander Keen. So. Uh, what other games would you like me to play on this channel? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to try it out. Uh, before I go, I just want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. I really do appreciate your support, and you definitely do make this channel happen. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you especially here, so thank you very much for that. Uh, visit our website at freelance.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. and Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.